Recently, we have seen a wave of CLI tools that enhance development workflows by deploying AI agents directly within your terminal. From Gemini CLI, which is Google's new open source AI agent, to Cloud Code, which is currently the dominant terminal based AI coding tool. And frankly, the one tool I recommend over anything else. Now, on this channel, I previously showcased Cloud Code, and it can truly revolutionize your dev workflow, especially when you pair it with a framework called SuperCloud. This is where it adds powerful features like integrations with MCPs, new tools, new slash commands, as well as context engineering, which massively improves Cloud Code's output and usability. But today, I want to showcase something that will elevate your experience even further with Cloud Code, a brand new desktop and mobile UI for this new CLI. Yes, a new full web UI for Cloud Code, which you can run locally or remotely and access with a proper interface wherever you are. Allow me to introduce Cloud Code UI. Cloud Code UI is a web and mobile friendly application for Cloud Code CLI that lets you view and manage all your cloud code sessions in one singular place. It's a beautifully designed intuitive interface that significantly enhances your developer experience, whether you're coding on the go or at your desk. With Cloud Code UI, it's gonna be easy for you to manage all your sessions. It has a really nice looking UI where you can manage all the different files with a singular interface. This means that all the sessions will be easily accessible with this UI where you can track history, manage multiple sessions, and even run multiple agents simultaneously. You have this nice looking UI, an interactive chat interface where you can start chatting with the AI. You have an integrated shell terminal, which you can actually view within the web UI, as well as a file explorer. This is where it's an interactive file tree with the syntax highlighting and live editing. This is giving you a lot of flexibility to work with Cloud Code with this nice interface. This is the main interface on the web, and this is how it looks on mobile. Now guys, to install this is really simple. You just need to make sure you have the latest version of Node.js and make sure you have Cloud Code installed. If you do not have this installed, it's very simple. It's just a simple command that you can run within your terminal. Now I'm gonna go ahead and open it up within something like WSL since I'm on Windows. And then I can simply go ahead and paste it within my terminal. Before we get started with today's video, allow me to introduce today's video sponsor, Sentry. Sentry recently has launched Seer, their brand new AI debugging agent that actually knows your code base. Most tools help you find bugs. Seer helps you fix them automatically. It pulls everything inside Sentry from error descriptions to stack traces the spans, traces, and even your entire code base. Here's how it works. First, Seer scans your issues and flags the ones it can help fix right away. Then it performs deep root cause analysis and generates code fixes with unit tests. It even opens GitHub pull requests for you across multiple repositories if needed. Seer saves you serious time. No more digging through stack traces or no more guessing where things went wrong. It works with almost any language or framework and can even understand distributed systems. Sears automation is fully customizable. You decide how much control you want. And with other Century AI features like AI issue summaries, you can prioritize faster and fix smarter. Want to try Sear? You can get started today. Sear by Century. Fix errors faster and automatically. Oh, and check out Century MCP. That's where the magic is running behind the scenes. But with that thought, let's get right back into the video. And just to briefly showcase how it works, you can simply just open up WSL, paste in this command, which will install Cloud Code, and you can simply open it up by just typing in the Cloud command to start the coding agent within your terminal. Now, it's gonna then ask you to log in. You will be either asked to log in with an API key or by simply logging in with your Cloud account if you pay for the pro plan. Now, sorry, I forgot to mention this, but you'll also need Git to clone the repository. Now, after you have Git installed, you can go back into the GitHub repository for Cloud Code, which is something that I'll leave a link to in the description below. And you wanna copy this link to clone the repository. So copy this command and paste it within your terminal. And then this will start cloning this repo. And what you wanna do next is head over into the Cloud Code UI repository by simply pasting in the CD command to get in. 
Now next, you want to configure your environment variables. So go ahead and copy this command over here and then open up your terminal and paste it in. And this is where you're going to be able to now work on configuring it by going over into the env file and then setting your variables. After configuring your environments, then go ahead and install the dependencies. So simply run the npm install command and this will start installing everything that is necessary for Cloud Code UI to be operational. Now, if you're installing this on WSL, you might need the help of maybe ChatGPT or even Anthropic to help you configure the correct path to install this within. Because it took me a while to actually set this up. I had to set my path so that it wouldn't actually use my actual Windows command prompt. It would only use the WSL subsystem. And after getting it to work, we are now starting up the local host. And this is where you can see it's going to prompt you to sign in with Cloud Code. And there we go. Just like that, we now have Cloud Code UI fully working within our browser. Now, on the left hand panel, this is where you're going to be able to manage all your project directories. Now, within the tool setting, this is where you can obviously change the appearance, permission settings where you can skip permission prompts. I wouldn't recommend doing this. And then you can also enable the allowed tools. You can even disable tools and you can access all of these within the actual chat interface. But now once we have saved all these things, we can then import our own folder. And to do so, you can actually create a new project or you can actually import it directly by setting the path. Now, after loading in a new directory, you can actually create a new session. And this is essentially where you can now work with Cloud Code to do anything. You can actually reference individual files within that directory. And you can see how much easier it is rather than just opening up files within a terminal. This way it's easier to deploy agents to work on different reference points. You can say something like tag a random file and you can say, can you explain what this file entails? And then you can send it in and you'll see that Cloud Code will work on executing that task. It's going to work on processing it and then display that conversation on what that file finds. And then you'll see that it'll respond back by saying that this is a cache file that tracks whether the legal notice from message of the day, et cetera, et cetera. But then you can see that it actually explained what that file was. Now, something cool that you can do is that you can open up the shell. So this is where you can continue all of these sessions within the shell. So it's not like you can't access the terminal. You can actually configure and do things within the terminal within this shell tab. You can manage all your files this way. You can figure out all your project files here and see everything with this inbuilt editor. So you can actually view it. You can change the actual view. You can even download it and then you can save certain edits. Now, there's even a source control. This is where it will work with Git, but in this case, it actually failed at the moment because I didn't properly install it or initialize it within this WSL subsystem. But this is essentially where you can use the Git source control and say, if you want to add a tool, it's actually really easy. Just enable all the tools that you want to work with, with the certain path that you're working on. You can save the settings. And now what you can do is you can use something like web search. So you can say, can you tell me the current weather in New York City? I actually had to reload it. And you can see right now it is using the web search tool now. And in this case, it was given this prompt that I had asked for, and it's going to be able to output it over here. Now, this is the tool result, and it, you can see right here that it found the current weather in New York City. Now, these tools are 100% amazing, but it would be awesome if the Cloud Code UI team would be able to implement the ability to add MCP servers di directly within this UI, as it would be a lot easier to configure and add certain components like that to enhance the AI agent. But that's just my two cents. I still think all these different tools that you can enable directly within the settings is amazing. But if we were to add MCPs to this, it'd be a lot more better. But that's essentially how you can use Cloud Code with the web UI. You can even use this on the mobile. So this is giving you a lot of flexibility to use this UI to help you in a lot of cases and just make it more accessible to use Cloud Code. I'll leave all these links in the description below. I highly recommend that you take a look at this. But if you're installing this with WSL, if you're on Windows, I highly recommend that you use Klein to install it. You can give Klein the prompt, say clone the repository and then install Cloud Code for me using WSL and it'll go on and it will install everything needed. 
You just need to provide your API key and you can configure that with client as well. But that's basically it, guys. I hope you enjoyed today's video and got some sort of value out of this. I'm going to leave all these links in the description below. Subscribe to the second channel. Make sure you join the newsletter, join our Discord, follow me on Twitter. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video, and please take a look at our previous videos because there's a lot of content that you'll truly benefit from. But with that thought, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Have an amazing day. Spread positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.